Hey guys, it's Hope. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on my eyeshadow palette collection. We'll skip to the last um, shop hush palette, the Bad Habit Retro Love. Same thing with this one, the mattes. I tried to build them up in my crease and everything, and it just, they swatch good, but building them up do not work well. This shade, again, this shimmery shade, I kind of wanted to pot it, depot it, because do you see that? Like, do you see that? That is so pretty. They need to make a palette with just all shimmers, just so I can buy it and be satisfied, because they make amazing shimmery shades. The mattes, not so much. This one's like a green, and this one's like a shift. You see that? It's like a purpley shift. But this one's like, they're like very powdery. I don't know. I don't know. So, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Subculture palette. And I would probably rather go with the Subculture, even though I've never tried it. So, yeah. I have two, four, six palettes left. The LA Girl Ilex Mesmerizing Shadows. I did talk about this at the beginning of the year. I haven't been reaching for it as much because I've been trying new products. But I do really enjoy this palette. Nice mattes. They're easy, they're pigmented, they apply nice to the eyes, they blend well and smooth. They are nice shades. I really recommend it. They're like $4.99 for this and great, perfect travel palette. All you need is this and maybe like a single shade for um, a shimmery shadow and you're good to go. So I really love this palette actually. These little quads a lot and I do want to purchase more because I really like them. Number seven, perfect eyeshadow palette in nude. So this is a shimmery palette. And I don't hate this palette, but I don't love it. It's not intense shimmers. They're just like natural sheens. And it's not really a palette that you can just wear on its own. So you would have to like use other... You'd have to use like other um, palettes with it and shades. They don't swatch bad. I mean, they're not bad. I've used it before. I believe I used this maybe in my products I never use video. Um, I don't hate it. I got it on sale actually. Um, which is probably why I bought it, but it's not a bad palette. I think it's a nice one, but it's not necessarily one that I would necessarily recommend because it's all shimmers, you know? Okay, the Pro Fusion Mixed Metals 9 Matte Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. This one has a vanilla scent to it, and I actually really love it. So these shades, these matte shades are nice. They are a little bit hard to blend and work with. They're kind nice and creamy, though, like swatching them. So they're not horrible, they're not amazing. That You do have to work with them a little bit, but they're not like bad. I'd be fine with just using this palette for an eyeshadow look for a day, and I would totally get by with it. I've done it before. Um, I did, I, th I feel like I've done this, to talk about this in a video before. Um, the shimmer shades are also very pretty. I do like them a lot. And yeah, I did do a video with Bryn, my friend, and we did a story time video, which we actually did a story time. It wasn't like clickbait. So when we were getting ready and I was using this, so I will link that video down below. But they're not horrible shades. I probably won't buy more of them because I already have a bunch of eyeshadows, as you can tell, and I really don't need to buy more eyeshadow palettes. But these are not bad shades. One of my dear, lovely subscribers DM'd me on Instagram and asked if she could send me some makeup for a birthday present from ColourPop. And she's actually sending me a few more things coming right now, which I'm so grateful. I do not deserve this, so thank you so much. But she sent me a palette from ColourPop. I do have other products on my eyes, too, that she sent me. But this is the ColourPop Double and Tender eyeshadow palette. This is just a little mini eyeshadow palette. I've never tried anything from ColourPop until I received this package. And so I tried this today. I don't think it's a bad palette at all. I like it a lot, actually. I wasn't a huge fan of how it looked with the shimmery shades, because these shimmer shades look pretty, but there were there was not one that I liked that was like, see how they were just darker? And I needed something kind of in between that was maybe a little bit brighter. They swatch beautifully and they're creamy. But I needed something that was a little bit brighter, so that's why I threw this glitter on, which amped up the look. If you guys ever have an eyeshadow look where you're like, I like it, but I feel like it needs something more. If you throw on a glitter, it just amps it up and makes it look 100 times better. So this is what I'm wearing right now, and I do like it. I'm wearing a mixture of a bunch of the shades. I have this one on, and this one, 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 and this one. I think I used all the shades except for this one. This dark glittery which I never wear glitter so I don't know why people put like glitter in matte eyeshadows like if you're gonna put a glitter just put a glitter in a single shadow I'll show you the single shadow that I'm wearing if I can find it it's the ColourPop Super Shock shadow it's already dirty so it already belongs at home um, in the shade Ladybird 
first of all. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I am running out of swatch room. It is the most beautiful, just glittery shadow, and it amps up your look 24 times. 24 times. So, I really like it. A lot. Thank you so much for sending that over. Okay, we have two palettes left. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I talk about this one a lot. You guys know, I don't even think I need to swatch this. You guys have seen so many videos on this before. I talk about it on my channel a lot. Love this palette a lot. It's one of my favorites. Um, I did talk about in products that if I were to lose all my makeup, which ones I would go back and buy. And it would definitely be this one probably for an eyeshadow palette right away because it's only $38. 38 or 36 38 and you get a variety of shades. So, I love this. It has everything I need. Except for a matte cream shade. Why didn't you put a matte cream shade in here? I don't know why. I don't understand it. But I like this palette a lot. The last palette is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in Rose in the Air. Or Rose in the Air. I actually bought this palette off of Andrea Lee's recommendation when I did that collab video with her. I can link that video down below as well. I will link any video down below that I talked about or one that would relate to maybe this video. So, I did try this out. And I did my eye look so fast, you guys. In that video, it probably seemed like I did it kind of fast, but I really didn't cut a lot out of me doing it because I did it so fast. I, I don't know what it is in these shadows, but they are so pigmented and they blend so seamlessly and so fast. My eye look was done in like 10 minutes. And usually I, if I'm doing my eye looks and stuff, it like takes me like, oh, 20, 25 minutes. Just then I'm playing around. No, I was done like this with this palette. They're very beautiful. I love the look I had in that video. And yeah, so I love these shades. I don't necessarily love the shimmers. They're not horrible, but they're not like my favorite. But holy cow, the mattes on this, amazing. You guys, we're done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and just kind of enjoyed sitting, listening, chatting, chatting. Kind of a video you can just kind of listen to in the background unless you're like trying to get information on shadows and stuff. I have 20 eyeshadow palettes. You guys, that's insane. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you made it to the end. And I'm telling you this right now. Why aren't you subscribed? You should just subscribe. And yeah, let me know your favorite eyeshadow palette down in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.